These days, you may find wireless internet at some of the most remote places on the planet, on your flight, even in space, where you won't find it, at least not yet, deep underwater. These are devices that uh, can communicate underwater wirelessly. Tommaso Melodia and University at Buffalo researchers developed technology they say will create a deep sea internet, an idea initially fodder for late night laughs. A Wi-Fi network that can work underwater. Yeah, while Time Warner is trying to develop a Wi-Fi network that can work. <laughs> Of course, Fallon means Time Warner Cable. Regardless, to Melodia, it's no laughing matter. It's been eight years of hard work. Melodia hopes the technology will improve tsunami detection, natural gas exploration, pollution monitoring, and security surveillance. But will it work? And how deep? We went out to Lake Erie with his research team to test the science behind it. When you communicate wirelessly in air, you do that through electromagnetic waves. When you communicate wirelessly in water, you do that through acoustic waves, basically sound. It sounds a bit like how dolphins communicate. They use sound waves. These modems will use the same techniques to talk to each other. He's trying to communicate to uh, this guy. Modems transmitting data from underwater to a modem on the surface, then to a laptop or cell phone anywhere in the world. Did you give them names? We did actually for a specific experiment in which we have one of the yellow spheres called Alice that wants to communicate with Bob. Then it's into the water. So what happens now? So the Alice will send a message from the underwater and the Bob will transfer this data to the internet. After a few moments, a message. First via laptop. Welcome CNN. <laughs> then the mobile. This is the message I was waiting for. So when everything works, we're like kind of, woo, that's yeah. it. <laughs> we got it. Today, Lake Erie. Soon, the hope the internet will finally go where no internet has gone before.